So I'm sure a lot of you guys are aware. I'm sure a lot of you guys are aware in the ever expanding technology that is artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence has done a lot of uh, crazy things and including uh, playing video games for people, uh, being able to master certain games and completely solve them, like chess is on its way to being solved. Uh, I think under seven pieces on the board is fully solved, stuff like that. So AI is a very useful thing when it comes to gaming. And I wanted to use an artificial intelligence to try and teach me how to speed run Castlevania Aria of Sorrow. So I got my friend here, novel AI. I'm giving it the beginning of Aria, the start of the game, telling it what the game is about in the start of the game, and I'm gonna have it tell me everything I need to do to speed run the game. So, from the start, Aria of Sorrow takes place in the fictional universe of the Castlevania series. The series' premise is the conflict between the vampire hunters of the Belmont clan and the immortal vampire Dracula. 30 36 years before the start of Aria of Sorrow, Dracula was defeated once and for all by the Belmont clan, and his power sealed into a solar eclipse. Shortly after Dracula's death, a prophecy was made that Dracula's reincarnation would come to his castle in 2035 and inherit all of Dracula's powers. This prophecy acts as the driving force behind the plot of Aria of Sorrow and is the pr primary motivation of the supporting characters to be present. The game takes place in Dracula's castle, the most common setting for the series. The castle is divided into numerous areas that the player traverses over the course of the game. The main character, Soma, uh, starts his adventure in Dracula's castle. All right, let's fix this up. Let's clean this up. Boom. The main character, Soma, starts his adventure in Dracula. The main character, Soma, starts his adventure in Dracula's castle. Now we're gonna hit send, and the AI is gonna tell me what I need to do from here. And that is how we are going to play the game and hopefully speed run it and get the world record. After confronting, confronting several members of the Belmont clan, including after confronting several members of the Belmont clan, including Trevor, who has been possessed by the curse of Dracula, Soma is transported into a small village where he must find answers about the past and fight against several groups of enemies, the villagers who are trying to prevent him from leaving. Uh, let's try that again. He has two companions. <laughs> what? 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 Okay, this, this AI has gotten way more advanced since the last time we used it. It just created a fucking character? It's telling me to go play... What? What the... F Hold on. What? What? Okay, one more time. One more time. After meeting with two other characters, he learns the evil entity named Mephisto has taken control of the castle and threatens to destroy the world. He sets out on a quest to defeat Mephisto and restore peace to the world. That is where we will be starting. So we need to go defeat Mephisto. Who is Mephisto? Who is he fisting? I guess we're gonna find out together. Uh, that is not Mephisto. Um. I'll just start, uh, right here. All right, let's start the game where we have to meet two other characters and learn about Mephisto. That's where we start and this will be Obviously, our way of having the AI teach us how to speedrun in the most efficient manner possible. Clearly, the AI knows what it's talking about, knows what it's doing. It is artificial intelligence, after all. The strongest of all intelligences. So, uh, let's get going. So, we're meeting our uh, two companions here. So, clearly, uh, set forth... Both of our lives are at stake. He must be talking about Mephisto. All right. 
See, the AI knows what it's talking about, man. It knows what it's talking about. So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to... Uh, um, every so often when we do things in the game, we're going to check in with the AI, tell, them, tell the AI what we've been doing, and then have the AI spit out what it is we need to do going forward. We have our main goal for the run, which is to, to defeat Mephisto. But until then, we have to, you know, kind of figure it out. Let's save the game while we're here. Bum, 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 bum. That doesn't kill. Okay, whatever, man. You get to live. These skeletons are crazy. We beat our first boss. Let's go ahead and check in with the AI, tell them what we did, and see what we should be doing from here. Um, let's see here. Uh, Soma encounters a large skeleton and defeats it swiftly using his throwing spears and his dagger. Soma then. Soma encounters a large skeleton and defeats it swiftly using his throwing spears and dagger. Soma then. And now we're going to let the uh, AI fill in the rest. Soma then meets up with his friends, Adriana and Dondo, who are trying to who are also trying to reach the castle. As they travel, they encounter several other characters who all have their own motivations for wanting to see the castle destroyed. The merchant Cresselia and the Dark Knight Ramiel. Um, so I'm getting that we got to go turn around and go talk to our friends. Maybe they uh, will give us some more insight as to what we are doing. So yeah, let's go, uh, let's go back to our friend. Surely the AI knows what's going on. This must be the optimal route. See, the thing is, is most speedrunners are afraid to use artificial intelligence because they're worried that it's going to, like, sully their runs. But realistically, it's more of a tool for, like, learning. You know what I'm saying? I'm learning so much about this video game that I didn't know before. Like, the most efficient speedrun route is being uh, laid bare in front of our very eyes through the miracles of technology. Yeah, yeah Aria Star is a great game. So, uh, well, we have one friend here. Soma then meets up with his friends, uh, Adriana and Dondo. Uh, maybe Dondo is the, 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 the statue in the background. So this is obviously Adrianda, Adriana. Uh, we have to go encounter several other characters, including a merchant. All right, let's go, uh, find the merchant. So yeah, our next goal is to go find the the merchant, the, the merchant, and then we have to find the Dark Knight, aka Batman. Got it. Dude, this speedrunning thing is easy. Oh come on. Got to unlock hammer the AI is onto something. I mean, I'm starting to think so.
Let's save the game again. Because I don't know if I'm going to die. I'm going to keep it uh, real with you guys. This game is a... Uh, this game can be hard sometimes, okay? And I really don't want to die. Damn it, wrong one. Um, what is it? What's the, where's my L and R buttons? Why is that my R button? Hold on. My controls are messed up. Not the hotkeys now. I need to switch my controller up. Left, right, start, select, B, A, L, R. Here we go. See you later, Smith. Have you missed much? We just started the story. If you need to catch up, uh, it, it's right there for you to read. But essentially, we are on our way to go meet the merchant. That's what the AI is telling us to do. So clearly, that is the best possible route. But surely we wouldn't just, you know, be using AI to know, uh, for no reason. It must be onto something. Go straight to Hammer, then. Who am I to question the almighty AI? That's what I'm saying, dude. It clearly knows what it's talking about. It is telling us to go meet the merchant, which I'm pretty sure is the thing the next thing we have to do. In the game, so. Ooh, my movement is not very crispy right now. It's a little stale. We'll, we'll we'll pick up our god tier movement in a second. Oh. The AI is uh, through its divine intervention and all knowing powers is giving me the ability to move faster than ever thought possible. I mean, look at the speed! Oh my god, the skeleton knight drop that increases my strength. It's working already. Is that an AI manipulation from the AI? Hold on. RNG manipulated from the AI? Plus the Skull Archer air- Oh my god, guys. I think it's working. I'm already going way faster than I ever thought possible. This is crazy. Oh! This is the next plot plot point uh, for, for the AI. We meet with a mysterious fella named Graham Jones. So let's go ahead and inform the AI what's going on here. Whatever, man. How the hell do you spell his name? How the hell do you spell Graham? Graham? Uh, 
And Graham Jones, who claims to be the reincar of Dracula. No, Graham is different from Graham. Graham Cracker. All right. On his way to meet with the merchant, Soma encounters a strange man named Graham Jones, who claims to be the reincarnation of Dracula. Soma... Okay, what? Hold on. Soma travels to the castle where he finds this to be true. The previous owner of the castle, Dr. Mario, has been transformed into Dracula by the curse placed upon him by Mephisto. While fighting Dracula's servants, Soma is wounded and sent back to his hometown? Right, this is canon. Okay, so we, we get wounded and sent back to our hometown. What does that look like? Um, maybe the... No, let him cook. Let, let, let the AI cook. It's on to something. When Soma returns home, he meets with his childhood friend, Emily, who has been cursed by Mephisto. She transforms into a monster and attacks him. Soma defeats her, but she continues to transform into a monster due to the curse. Um, I think we, we hit this with a hot retry. Well, hold on. However, the battle between Soma and Dracula continues without his presence. Eventually, Soma returns to the castle to fight off the last enemies and finally confront, Dr confront Dracula himself. In the end, both Soma and Dracula fall into the underworld where they meet once again to be reborn as humans? So we just gotta go fight Dracula. All right, cool. Fair enough. That makes sense. And to be fair, this guy says he's Dracula, so we'll just go fight that guy. All right, the AI is making sense again. I'm so happy. Perfect. And you guys were worried, all right? No, the AI makes total sense here. So our goal is to go fight Dracula and get sent into a void to be reborn as humans. That sounds about right to me. I don't know about you guys. Dr. Mario is canon. The Lord of Castlevania before Dracula. That's that's just part of the canon now. The AI obviously knows everything, so that's just that's just Castlevania lore. That everybody knows that, right? We're all aware of the uh, the Doctor Mario, um, Doctor Mario's previous ownership. It all makes sense now. No, Doctor Mario isn't the main antagonist. Doctor Mario just owned the castle before, uh, I guess, selling it to Dracula. Something like that. Damn, these guys hit kind of hard. Oh, There we go. Nice. I know it might not make sense right now, but trust me, the more we check in with the AI, the more it'll make sense. Because the AI does know uh, best for us. So if we ever get confused, we could just tell the AI what we've been up to, and it'll just tell us what we need to do next. Dr. Mario got the rights to the castle when it became a Game Boy Advance game. Honestly, yeah, that sounds a, like a Nintendo thing to do. Man, that's a giant ghost. Did you guys know that? I 
I swear he's small. No, he's giant, bro. movement I'm kind of popping off right now I think the speedrunning thing is actually kind of easy oh god never mind the AI didn't warn me about the, the skeleton archer this is another big plot point hold on new character Yoko Belnal Belnat Benades what how are you supposed to pronounce? I, I hate the Castlevania lore. Yoko is a member of the church. Does the AI even need to care about, like, do we care about uh, Yoko? I mean, she just dies later anyways. I don't think the AI cares for this speedrun. We must seek John Lennon, okay. Nice hitboxes, let's go. I'm literally cheating because of the AI. Okay, ow, never mind. There we go. What is Yoko's connection to Dr. Mario? I'll ask. I might as well. I think this is a good time uh, to check in because actually right after this is where we, okay. Okay, so we meet with the merchant. We get the ability to double jump. And we meet Yoko. Let's go ahead and uh, check in with the AI and tell us uh, what's going on. That's how you pronounce it, or spell it, right? Something like that. Possibly connected to Dr. Mario. Jesus Christ, spelling is hard. Is that not how you spell connected? How the fuck? There was two ends? Okay, whatever, man. Um...
I should probably put the names in quotation marks, so that way the, the game knows, or the AI knows that they're names. I don't know, we'll find out. We'll see if the AI can figure it out. Soma continues to explore Dracula's castle when he finds a new face, Yoko Bonales, who can, claims to be a member of the church and possibly knows Dr. Mario. Soma then fights a giant uh, suit of armor and meets with the shopkeeper, Hammer. I don't care if there's updates. Get, get out of here. Soma then... Do you recognize the name? Yeah, but Hammer's also like a word. So like, we'll see. If you want me to get, I'll get rid of the uh, quotation marks, it's fine. He'll figure it out. Someone then goes to the tower where he meets the town leader, Dr. Lecter, and finds out the truth finds out the truth about his mother being killed by Mephisto. Soma then goes to the castle where he meets the new vampire hunter Yoko Benalides and gets information from her about the castle. This is pretty close. This is pretty close. Okay, so we need to go to the tower and find Dr. Lecter. Right? Or did I make that up? What? Soma goes to the town where he meets the town leader, Dr. Lecter, and finds out the truth about his mother being killed by Mephisto. Oh, there's no tower. Uh, we have to go find the town leader. I don't know. Let's try it one more time. Soma then discovers that his mother is alive and being held captive in the castle. Soma must find her, free her, and help her escape. Dracula is enraged by the news that his castle is under attack and calls on the help of the Order of the Divine. So we have to go save our mom? Okay, sure. So we have to go find our mom and uh, go save her. That's our next objective. Man, this AI is really cooking up something, that's for sure. Yeah, this AI's writing is still better than anything uh, Konami's been able to come up with in the last, uh, I don't know. When was the last time Konami came up with a Castlevania story? Owie. Where did that arrow come from? Oh my god, I got sniped. We should ask the AI to just rewrite uh, Mirrors of Fate and see what happens. Or Mirror of Fate. Was Konami involved in the Netflix show in any capacity? No. Can I just, please? Thank you. At least I'm fairly certain Konami had nothing to do with it, and they just handed off the the concepts to uh, the studio that ended up making it. That explains why the show is good. I mean, kinda, yeah. You're not wrong. Yeah, they do what Konami does best, which is not make uh, new content whatsoever and just have other other uh, studios and whatnot make the content for them. Evil Butcher is a goofy enemy. You're not wrong, yeah. It is pretty goofy. Alley. 
So what is our goal right now? We just have to go find our mom? Like, who is our mom? Oh, actually, I think I know who our mom is. Hold on. It's all coming together now. This is going to take a little while to get there, but I think I know... I think the AI is trying to show me something. And I think it's giving me a vision of exactly where our mother is. It's weird. Um, while we're here, however, we should probably talk to Hammer. See what he has to say about this whole uh, business. What is my mom's relation with Dr. Mario? We, we're gonna find out, we're gonna ask the AI. Um, I don't think Hammer's gonna give us in, any information unless we maybe give him some, some items. We'll sell him some items. And then, um, I think we could also sell this item, perhaps? Okay. Hmm. Very interesting. All right, now that we've sold, uh, Hammer's mustache, he's a little bit more willing to work with us. So now we can buy the War Fatigue and the Katana. Okay, makes sense, makes sense. And he's going to warp us to the top of the screen. Yep, yep, yep. Everybody knows about that. Okay, cool. Uh, overall successful, uh, shopping trip. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's, like, a non-canon shopping trip, or, or, like, it's, um, it's like a filler arc. Hammer and Soma hang out and, uh, go shopping together. It's like the Dragon Ball Z episode where, uh, Goku and Piccolo learn how to drive. It's like one of those. Good morning, how's it going? Hammer gets hammered. I don't know if he's joking or if that's a real episode or not. It's 100% real. Goku and Piccolo uh, get their driver's license. Do they end up getting their driver's license? I know they take the test to get their driver's license. That is a real thing. Um, Can I do this? Yes, I can. Oh, snap. Uh, new plot. New plot develops. I was looking for my mom, and yet I found this guy. Who calls himself Jay. With amnesia. Who is searching for Dracula. Uh, cool. Cool. Oh no, it's mom's new boyfriend? All right. So we found mom's boyfriend. He's calling himself Jay. He has amnesia and he's looking to uh, defeat Dracula. Um. Uh. How do you spell amnesia? Let's find out. That's how. It was an E. Of course it was. Of course it was. Spelling's stupid. I hate spelling. Uh, Jay has amnesia and is looking for Dracula. Dracula. 
He says he's looking for Dracula's dark powers, right? Order to defeat. While Soma was looking for his mother, he meets with her new boyfriend, Jay. Jay has amnesia and is looking for Dracula's dark powers in order to defeat him. After defeating Dracula, Soma and his companions discover that he has been brainwashed. Soma defeats the brainwashing machine, but ends up killing Dracula in the process? Dracula appears as a boss. Let's try that one more time. It was close. It was close. It was cooking for a second. It doesn't take long for Soma to realize that there is something else going on here. Soma and Soma's mother make their way through the castle until they're attacked by a new, new enemy, the alchemist? Close. Soma stops him and helps him find his memories, not knowing that he needs to do J. Not knowing what he needs to do, J. Jay sets out to finish the job at hand. Someone returns to the castle to rescue his mother from the clutches of Dracula's new bride, Charlotte? Okay. So pretty much nothing new happens. We just uh, help uh, Jay get his memory back, and now we're going to go save our mom from Charlotte? Cool. Cool. All right. Let's go do that. Uh, isn't this where you get the slide? This is where you get Lizard Tail, right? It's been a while since I played the vanilla game. Trying to slide into uh, Jay's memories. This is we're we're fighting the the demon uh, the demons of Jay's memories in order to to free his mind and cure his amnesia. I'm pretty sure is what we're doing. This is the quest we're going on to help uh, Jay with his memories. Do I have a better supersonic waves? Is this any better? It's cheap and it does 22 damage. My sword does 44. All right. Oh, I have 100 potions, by the way. So I think we'll be fine. I still don't understand where the hell the hitboxes are on this guy. There it is. Skeleton Blaze, not, uh, yeah. All right. We have helped Jay regain his memories, I think is what we were doing here. Sounds about right. Dude, this pace is crazy. We're actually speedrunning really well right about now. This AI stuff is really working. Uh, the cuddle is better because it multi hits, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it does multi-hit. Would a high potion be a bong? I think you could turn a high potion into a bong, probably. I don't think that's what its uh, intended use is, though. All right, we're looking for Soma's mom. 
We gotta go rescue our, our mom. That's the plan. Was oh, this not the? That's not the one I was thinking of. Can I not get that? Of course you can. You just gotta try harder. Let's get some of this exploring out of the way. I think this is a slight uh, upgrade. Uh, yeah. It's one less attack power, but way more defense. Which will be useful for late game, because the late game is absurd in this game, sometimes. All right. So this is where Dracula's been holding our mother captive. I guess with the intention of cutting her head off. And we find Dracula's newest uh, bride, Charlotte. And we must defeat uh, Charlotte. And here she is. All right, let's, uh, let's kill her. Can I not multi-hit? I guess I'm really bad at multi-hitting, huh? There we go, there's Charlotte down. Uh-oh. Charlotte is transformed into an old sorcerer man? What are, what's happening? What are you exactly? What are you supposed to be? Can you stop spamming the same move so I can start spamming the same move? Dude, I'm the one that spams the same move over and over again. Fuck you, nerd. There we go. Charlotte, Jonathan, Charlotte, John... Ooh, it all makes sense now. And then the, the lizard person thing? Damn, that is a terrible uh, soul. I think Wing Skeleton kind of low-key goaded as a early game soul. Nice. Okay, so we defeated Charlotte and stole her powers, but and theoretically we saved our mom, right? Because I mean, all the the heads are gone in the background, so I think that works. Sure, that sounds about right to me. Only to realize she is. Um, three, uh, what is it? A head hunter who has stolen the heads of many people to gain their powers. Soma defeats... Charlotte and saves his mother and continues to search for Dracula. Okay. Three kids in a trench coat was the first idea I came up with, yes. <clears throat> Someone returns to the castle to rescue his mother from the clutches of Dracula's new bride, Charlotte, only to realize that she is a headhunter who has stolen the heads of many people to gain their power. Soma defeats Charlotte and saves his mother and continues his search for Dracula. What now? While wandering through the castle, Soma discovers a hidden chamber that has been sealed with a spell. He breaks the seal and confronts a demon called Mephisto. Soma manages to defeat him, but loses his memory in the process. All right, so we got to go fight Mephisto. Our next goal is to go fight Mephisto, so... Uh, 
we'll go. We'll we'll find him somewhere. I'm sure. You have to break the the curse, the the seal. Something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I think that's death, right? Death has got to be Mephisto. So I think our next goal is to go to the clock tower to meet with death, AKA Mephisto. That makes sense to me. I think that's also the progression of the game. Because we get Undyne here. Alright. Who is Fisto? We'll find out. All right, let's go warp back to castle entrance, I'm pretty sure. Although this does uh, get us back to castle entrance. Everyone's asking who is Fisto. Nobody asks how is Fisto. Poor Fisto. Entrance. Maybe Fisto and Dr. Mario are related. We haven't uh, checked in on Dr. Mario in a while. I'll ask the AI about Dr. Mario after we defeat uh, Fisto. Actually, Dr. Mario, his primary move in Smash Brothers, like his finishing move, is his fist. Hold on. Could Mephisto actually be Dr. Mario? There's only one way to settle this. soundtrack in this game. This game's kind of sick. Nice. Imp soul. Completely useless. Uh, are any of the items here useful or are they all healing items? I do not remember in the vanilla game. Ooh, money. That's pretty much useless. I honestly don't think we should worry about any of the items anyways, actually, now that I think about it. Perfect. This is exactly where I wanted to go. Don't worry about that. That's nothing. That's totally not a cutscene that uh, would uh, change the path of the story. Nope. Totally not that. Because we haven't met with Mephisto yet. So obviously we can't talk to the AI until we've killed Mephisto. Or at least met Mephisto.
Money is completely useless, yes. Because why would you need money when you could have your Twitch Prime? That's correct, your Twitch Prime is a, uh, a subscription that you get for free to use on any streamer. If you have Amazon Prime, you could use that right now. And oh, what's that? Subscribe to this channel for free? Free emotes? Uh, Ad-free viewing experience? What is this? It's better than money. It's Twitch Pro. No, not funny. All right, my bad. Thought I'd get at least one chuckle. How's the Mephisto hunt go uh, coming along? I think we found him. Our, our leading theories are either Mephisto is actually Dr. Mario or this is Mephisto. And I'm starting to think that this is Mephisto. Or is it possible that Mephisto was actually death the whole time? Hold on. We have to ask the, we're gonna, first of all, we have to kill this guy, then we'll ask the AI what uh, it thinks. Can you stop hitting me, please? It's kind of rude. Um, let me also put the Skeleton Knight back on. Sure. Let's get this Imp involved. The Imp will surely help. Three damage per hit? Never mind. Get this Imp out of here. Not too bad. Um, back to flying armor. I mean, look at this guy. This guy looks like a Mephisto, right? Cheating! He's leaving the he's leaving the 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 fucking stage! Get that ass back here! Oh my god, that took a while. Ow. Jeez. Okay, we did it. We defeated Mephisto. All right. Let's go uh, check in with the AI again. Um, cool. Yeah, we, we, we defeat him, but lose our memory in the process. It turns out Mephisto was death the whole time. Soma. Left. 
knowing what to do next. Besides to... All right. Uh, actually, we should ask about Dr. Mario. Um, meanwhile... Dr. Mario. Perfect. Turns out Mephisto is death the whole time. Meanwhile, Dr. Mario has returned to life and is controlling the monsters in the castle. After defeating Dr. Mario, Soma is approached by Dracula and tries to convince him to give up on his plans for revenge. Mephisto has escaped from hell and is now making plans to destroy the world. Okay, so we have three different plot points. Dr. Mario is controlling the castle. Soma gets approached by Dracula. And then Mephisto comes back from hell. So um, we'll, we'll figure that out uh, as, we, as we play. I'm sure that the game, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make sense, guys. The AI knows what's going on. The AI wouldn't just be making all this stuff up, right? Clearly, this is helping me speed, get better at speedrunning. This is clearly helping me get better at speedrunning. Just let me out of here, man. I don't care anymore, man. This is fucking stupid. I don't... I hate this place. What's over here again? Isn't it like a pretty good item? Yeah. That would have been useful versus death. It's the holy sword, basically. That would have been useful. Oh. Well. We'll meet with Dr. Mario. Don't worry, guys. I, I'm, I'm sure the game is going to... We're going to collide with Dr. Mario any second now. Stop. This just connects us back here. Do we want to be here? I guess so. I think I know what we need to do. No, the AI has spoken to me in my uh, mind's eye and has given me the the route that we must take. Come on, man. Oh, come on, man. On. Ooh, Bureau, if I remember correctly, is actually a pretty decent soul. Nice. Not bad.
I think in our uh, in our battle with Mephisto, I believe that the amnesia has given uh, Soma the feeling that he needs to come back to this place. Soma completely forgot why he was here, so we, that means we have to come back here, right? Because of the, the amnesia. It's, it's all starting to make sense, actually. Let go of me, please. Since we're here, I guess we can go ahead and uh, ride on this guy. Take a ride on him. What? Hold on. What? How did the AI know how to... Oh my god. AI discovered new tech after 20 years? Hold on. How is it possible? Could it be? Wow, that's crazy. And it makes sense, because our amnesia is gonna make us wanna uh, explore the same areas we've already been to. And then we stumbled upon a brand new technique that gave us uh, this really cool uh, sword. It is a really cool sword, actually. If you look at it, it's pretty cool, right? I think it's cool. Owie. Ow, he just punched me in the face. All right, let's save the game. Could this be Dr. Mario? Hold on. This is the next boss. So is this Dr. Mario? Dr. Mario is known for using his fists. Hold on. Is this a... He has a mustache. Wait a minute. I think this is Dr. Mario, guys. I think we found him. So we have to defeat Dr. Mario. He's been controlling all of the, the castle's enemies. Damn, he hurts. Oh, God. Oh, God. Never get fisted by Dr. Mario. Oh, 3 a.m. Uh, challenge. Oh, God. That's going to be the title of this video. Actually, I don't think I'm allowed to do that. <laughs> All right. So, if the AI is correct, we should be getting approached by Dracula right now. Because we just defeated... We just defeated... Uh, Dr. Mario. So, any second now, Dracula's going to approach us. <gasps> Wait a minute. Our mom's boyfriend, Jay? He was Dracula the whole time? Wait, hold on. He's trying to convince us to give up on our, our revenge plot. I think it's, it's true. What? So now we have to go fight Mephisto who's escaped from hell? Oh my God. So our mom's boyfriend was Dracula the whole time. You think you know a guy? We helped him get his memories back and all of a sudden he's Dracula? It's crazy. Did we forget about her mom somewhere? No, she's safe. The AI uh, is more worried about Dr. Mario right about now. No, she's fine.
Oh, I'm stupid. There we go. Wait, what? How is that possible? The AI has gifted me the ability to, to teleport? Oh my god. So AI is really useful for uh, learning how to speedrun, I guess. I didn't even know that was possible. I was just... Something about the, 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 the AI taught me how to do that without me realizing it. It's crazy. All right, this time we're gonna defeat Mephisto once and for all. It's that amnesia side effect, maybe, perhaps? Cause I don't, I don't know how I got here, but. Just like that, I'm climbing the staircase. Could it be that Graham Jones was Mephisto the whole time? Hmm. Uh, doesn't this actually do more damage? Let's find out. No, not even close. This guy just has crazy defense. Hmm. So far, so good. This guy seems tough, but with the strategies uh, gifted to me by this AI, I've been able to defeat him so far without taking any damage. Final phase of Mephisto's boss fight. And we did it damageless. I think, just like that, we've beaten the game. And is that a new world record? Are you telling me that this AI has gifted me the ability to beat the game and get a new world record? Oh my goodness. Let's double check and make sure that this is actually the end of the game. Let's see here. I swear to God, my ability to spell words is making this impossible.
Uh, uh, let's see what the AI has to tell us now. Also, I don't want to listen to this anymore. Can we get the end credit music at least? Here we go. Someone defeats Mephisto once and for all and absorbs his souls. This causes the destruction of the castle. Dr. Mario has become a child. The Order of the Divine plan to kill Dracula and take over... Wait, what? The Order of the Divine plan to kill Dracula and take over his castle. Someone is attacked by someone who looks like his father. He realizes that is actually his mother who has become a vampire? Wait. Is that... Aracado is our mom? And is a vampire. Wow, I can't believe it. And just like that, the AI has gifted us the ability to speedrun faster than any other human has ever done before. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, well, <laughs> maybe next time we'll we'll find out uh, what happens with Alucard's mom slash dad slash Aracado. I don't know. Stay tuned and maybe we'll uh, try this again with the sequel, Dawn of Sorrow.